What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing the Red Guardian from the Black Widow. Let's get started in the center of our page with the upper brow. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out. Let's line up the inside over on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then bending that out. Now we're gonna go to the inside and curl up the brow. Coming in and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Now you want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. So we're going to start on the top left, draw a circle. Coming all the way around. Now we're just going to tuck that up underneath the brow. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So starting on the left, draw that circle coming in and back out. Do the same thing on the right and they'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's draw the inside edge of the mask around the eyes. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out, down, and then in. And then from the bottom, we come in and I'm just bend that up towards the inside corner of the brow. Now we move to the center and draw in the nose. We start over on the left side, draw a curve coming down and then up, almost like a half circle. Now on the left side, we step down, curve the mustache coming out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Let's curl out the tip of the mustache. And down and out. And I'm just gonna pull that in and up towards the center. Start by coming down, bending that up just underneath the nose. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm drawing the lower lip, starting back on the left, curve down and up. Now we're gonna tuck the beard in underneath the mustache, starting on the bottom left, curve this down. Round up the beard, and then go back up. And then we'll add some texture just underneath the mouth. Starting over on the left, go out and down. Do a shorter one on the right. Now from here, we're gonna draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're gonna step out, curve the cheek coming down, and then just bend that in. And then we'll go back and draw the inside edge of the mask. From the left side of the nose, we're gonna step out on top of the mustache, curve this up, and then back down. Now on the left side, angle down and out, curve out and then down towards the bottom of the head. Let's go back up to this point, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the side of the head. Now I'm also gonna add a fold in between the eyes. Starting on the left, curve this up, and then back down. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the top of the head. We're gonna start on the left side, go up, round up the head coming in towards the middle, round up the top, go across, and then just pull that down on the right side. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Starting from the top left, curve the ear going up, down, and then back in. Let's add the folds inside the ear. Starting from the left, start with a curve going up and out. Go back to the inside and add a hook going out and then back in. Now let's go to the center of the forehead and add that star. Starting right in the middle, start with a point, and then down and out toward the left and right. Draw a straight line going out towards the side. And then from here, angle down and in, angle down and out. Now I'm going to pull that back up towards the center of the star on both sides. Let's go up to the top points, draw a straight angled line going up and out towards the top of the head. 
Let's add another trim along the outside, just underneath the star. Start with a straight line going across. And we'll follow that same angle line going up and out. Let's add that strap along the side of the head. Starting from the top left, come down and in. Line this up on the right. Flatten off the end with a short line. And then go back up and out. Now from that inside line, step up to another line going across. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start over on the left side of the beard, cut the body going out and down towards the hip, line this up on the right, going out and down towards the same height, and then we'll connect the hips with the curve, going down and up. Let's go back to the left hip, step up and draw the top edge of the belt, curving down and then up, and then leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down, do the same thing on the right of the buckle. Now the star in the center of the body is going to get tucked in underneath the beard. So let's start from the hips, draw two straight angle lines coming up and in towards the middle, go back down and out towards the right. From that center line, step out, angle up and in on both sides, and we'll pull that up and out towards the top of the body. Let's go to the inside of the star, draw that same angle line coming down and out towards the side of the body. And then we'll add two belt loops. On the left, draw two lines side by side. Let's add the edge of the points along the top. Starting from the left, step down, draw a straight line coming in behind the beard. Now we're gonna add a strap across the shoulders. Starting halfway down the side of the body, curve this out, up, and in underneath the head. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. From the buckle, let's step down and add a curve from left to right, going up and down, leaving a small gap in the center for the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and up, and the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. Starting from the outside, curve this up. I'm going to bend this down on the inside. Angle up and in. And then we'll go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Starting from the left hip, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a strap from this point. Coming down and out on both sides. And then step in and just trace that same angle line. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet in behind that strap. From the tip of the foot, we're gonna step up. Just follow the same curve of the foot coming in behind the strap. Continue along the inside. Let's go to the top of the foot, step up. Draw a curve, coming down and up. Line this up on the right. Step up and draw that again. Let's add a seam going across the side of the leg. From the hip, we'll step in, follow the same curve of the leg coming down towards the boot. We're going to add a strap across the inside. Stepping up, coming in and up up and draw that again. Let's go to the top of that seam, draw a straight angle line coming down and in, step out and draw that again. And then we're going to add a pouch on either side. Starting from the top of the belt, go straight out, straight down the side, and we'll pull that back in towards the side of the leg. Now from here we're going to draw on the arms. From the bottom of the strap, let's step up, curve the arm going out and down towards the wrist. 
on this up on the right. Now from the wrist, we're gonna curl around the thumb with a small half circle. Close off the end with the bracket. Let's add those three fingers on either side. Starting underneath the thumb at the bottom, curve down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out and up with the second finger. And then moving along the side, curve the third finger going out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Let's go back to the top of the thumb and add that cuff. We go up and then bend that out on the other side. Step up and draw that twice. From the inside, we're going to step up and add another band. Going up and out. Step up, draw that twice. And then halfway along this line, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the cuff. Let's add that metal plate on the back of the hand. Starting from the outside, angle down and in towards the thumb, angle up and in towards the cuff. And now we're going to add a trim across the shoulder. Starting from the side of the strap, draw a short line going out, angle up and out towards the side. And let's trace this along the top. Stepping up, down and in, straighten behind the strap. And that's pretty much it. There's the Red Guardian from the Black Widow. Now I'm gonna go grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's start with a light skin tone and fill the areas around the eyes. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll go out and fill in the ears. Fill in the nose, the mouth, and in the areas around the side. Let's grab a medium brown and fill the inside of the mustache. And then we'll use a grayish brown to fill in the beard. Now with a light gray, we're gonna fill the center of that star and the buckles along the side. Star in the center of the chest, and the buckles on the side, and the belt buckle, and then those plates behind the hand. Now with the warm gray, we're going to fill the straps across the arms. And we'll fill those straps across the chest. across the belt. Now going across the legs and the area above the boot. Now with our dark gray, we're gonna fill in the rest of the straps. Using that same color, we're going to fill in each of the hands. And then going across the top of the glove. And then the boots. And when you go back with a black sharpie and just fill that strap across the ankle. Now using our bright red, we're going to fill in the rest of the body. Now using a slightly darker red, I'm just going to add some shadows across the bottom. And 
slight shadow around the eyes. And there we have it. That's how we draw and color the Red Guardian. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out more of our lessons in our Heroes and Villains playlist and leave your requests in the comments down below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.